Hey there video game fans, welcome back to my channel. If you're first time viewers, welcome along. This is flashback part two. Um, part one, if you watched the earlier video, I died quite a lot. It wasn't very pleasant. Hopefully this time I'm gonna die a lot less. We shall see. Um, we will get me hopefully out of the jungle at some point and onto, I think it's Earth. I don't even remember now, to be honest with you. I know you get to Earth at some point in this game. But I think by the end of this video, at the very least, we should be onto a new section. So here we go. Let's see if we can uh, try not to die in the first two seconds of the video. That will be good. Uh, there's a couple of things that could get me down there as well, so that's not a good start. Let's hope they don't. Uh, I'll take this very cautiously, I think. So especially if you're new to this video, I really don't want to die straight away down. There we go. It's like a pro. The other one, guy I can't get to just yet anyway, so let's have a look. Oh, card block, okay. I don't think I've got a card. Oh. Um, let's have a look. No, I don't think, no, that's not going to do it. No, okay, well, we haven't got the card yet, so we've obviously got to find that somewhere. And if looking around, there's no open doors. So I'm probably going to have to go up, just make sure I haven't missed anything over here. Doesn't look like I have. And no objects there either. Okay, well, it looks like I've got to go back up again. Let's um, we'll have a look over here. Just check we've missed nothing on the floor. Nope. Okay, we'll have a look around. Um, can't remember if I went down last time on this. I'll try and avoid getting electrocuted. Okay, and again. Try going down, see if there's anything here. Um, okay, didn't mean to do that. I end up falling off. Am I dead? Am I? Where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. Oh, that was very hard to tell. <laughs> that post there, that was really, that was tricky. Okay, oh, we've got another. That's just a normal lock. I don't know how you undo that. Okay. All right, well, we're in a new area. This doesn't look too good, does it? If you think how much that one guy killed me a lot the last time, this is really looks like it could be painful there is a recharge on the other side though and i think i got full shield now so it should be okay let's uh, let's give this a go so they could shoot each other actually oh, that's timing it right though oh, I'm trying to get Oops. <laughs> um, where's we gone oh, oh that really went badly <laughs> that's how not to play the game okay so we'll get that bit out of the way early in the video and hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll get better. But it was always a there was always a recharge up there, so I can charge my um, shield back up. So I'm not too worried. Uh, if I can make the jump, of course. There we go. Yeah, so I can charge my energy uh, shield up straight away. Yeah, so that's not too bad. Um, actually, I've got to actually select it from the menu first. Would be a good idea, Lee. Well done. There we go. So back to full health. The beauty of the energy recharge. I love it. <laughs> okay, right. Let's take this easy because I really, it would be embarrassing to get hit again immediately. Crouch and roll. Remember that technique when you play it. Just a big dude. Okay. What have we got here? I've got to get part of that switch, surely. Does it turn that off? Yes. Okay. Oh, and that reactivates it. Okay, well, we've learned the lesson there. So I'm probably going to have to jump across that, I think. There we go. Perfect. Those green things, they do kill you instantly. Oh, let's see. That is where you do the crouch and roll. See? Uh, finally. Finally, I've been proved right. That is why you do it. I think I've done that so many times and there's been nothing there in these videos so far. But that is the reason why you do it. Okay. I'll pick up this stone. It could come in handy. I don't think you can throw stones at people, unfortunately. That would be good. This guy should be pretty easy to handle. Watch that come back to haunt me. Famous last words, but I don't think he's going to be a problem. Um, should I try and throw a stone at him? Uh, okay. Oh, he's distracting him. Oh, that's good. He's overconfident. <laughs> it's not gone well. I'm still getting used to the controls. So, you know, that's my excuse anyway, I'm going to stick to it. 100 credits. Don't think I need them yet. Um, I don't know. Maybe I do. I know you need credits on the next level. Um, don't know if that thing can hurt you. Uh, better pick the stone back up. 
Oh, didn't didn't get me, so I think we're okay. Right, I remember. I didn't do it. I just walked straight across the screen. I'm telling you to remember to crouch and roll, and then I didn't do it myself. Uh, crouch to avoid high shot. They're not shooting. Why are they not shooting? Oh, maybe they shoot later. There's an object in front of me, I've noticed. A key. Well, I'm guessing that that key fits the lock. And obviously I'm going to need a card for the card lock. But the, lock, the one that was just a plain lock, I'm assuming that the key is going to fit that. Oh, and uh, that's not good. I uh, got overconfident again. I don't think he's going to come here, Lisa. What are you doing that for? Oh, there's an energy recharge. That's good. <laughs> I think I need it now. Did I take three shots? I think I did. Yeah. So one more and I would have been a goner. Okay. I'm going to guess that switch I just tripped there by mistake because I'm an idiot. Oh, 500 credits. Okay. Um, that's probably just set those guns off on the last screen. I'm betting you any money next time I go back there. They are going to be firing at me. I didn't think. Well, there's no way to avoid it actually, I don't think. To be honest with you. Well, I better charge my shield up just in case. We'll see if I'm right. If my memories uh, from like 25 years ago is intact still. But I'm pretty sure. That, I mean, they've got to be firing at some point because it told you to crouch. So I'm going to hazard a guess that they're going to be firing now. There's an object in the floor there, wasn't it? Oh, 50 credits. Well, I'm picking up the credits. Maybe I do need them for this level. I know for definite you need them for the next level. You've got to get something like, uh, I think it's 1,500, 2,000, something like that. It's, it's quite a sum of money because the next section you have to go and do jobs. Oh, we'll get through this bit first. There we go. Oh, that's pretty painless. Meant in every sense. Yeah, the next section you have to earn a lot of money to progress to the section afterwards. I think you have to try and get like um, a ticket to Earth or something. So you have to go out on these little jobs, which is is fun, but it involves a lot of backtracking. So be prepared for that. You know, when you when we get to that part of the playthrough, uh, I don't think I need to operate that again. Well, maybe I will just in case. Oh, okay, it's not working anyway. I thought in case an enemy came sneaking along, maybe we could vaporize them, but. It's probably best because I'll probably accidentally end up running into it anyway, so <laughs> knowing the way I play the game. Um, don't think I need to recharge, but uh, maybe I'll do it just to be on the safe side. No, I don't anyway. Don't need to charge this key up either, as far as I'm aware, so... No, you can't do that. Okay, that's cool. And didn't mean to jump. That was the wrong key again. Right, so... I have a key, which means I can undo that door... But I still don't know how to get through the card lock. So I don't really know where to go after I've unlocked this door. Because this isn't going to get me very far. This is just going to get me through that door back to where I was. So I'm obviously missing something. I've got to... Uh, yeah, I've got to find another card. I'll have a look. I don't think it was down here. I think I checked everywhere, but just to be thorough, because I, the last thing I want to do is backtrack it miles, and then obviously it was here all along, because that would be really frustrating. So we'll just make sure that we uh, we double check here. Okay. I'm guessing I've missed something up. I'll have a look down here first, just to make sure I didn't forget something around here there was areas actually that I think there was a jump I could have made on the f oh, come on, mate. there was a jump I could have made at the far end which I didn't make oh hang on I've activated my holocube that's me Probably should have played this earlier. Actually, I didn't even I didn't know that this was on here. Actually, this is the whole story, isn't it? Time is short. If you want to save your hide, well, I'm sure he does want to save his hide. Ian, New Washington. 
Maybe that's who we're going to go and see next when we get out of this level, I don't know. I'm sure it will all become clear. That's a very Total Recall, isn't it? <laughs> but I hope there's not the same result, result as Total Recall there. I don't think it is. But I can see, you can tell what... Was Total Recall out before this game or after? I think it was probably before, wasn't it? So, yeah, they, if it was, then they've definitely been influenced by Total Recall on that one. Yeah, I apologise for not playing that clip earlier. I didn't realise that it was... Um, that was actually what the Holocube was for. I didn't remember what it was for, to be honest with you. I should have maybe had a look at it. But, you know, most most objects you have to use with something. So I didn't realise... Oh, that's not going well. That's been knocking away. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing. I'm going to find stuff to you. Let's concentrate for a little bit, eh? Because I need to make sure that I find what I need next. Card. Don't think. Did I go up here? This is where I was banking on. Just recharge my shield. Always best to, always best to have a full charge, just in case. Um, can't remember if I checked up here. That's the problem with this game, sometimes it starts to look the same when you do backtracking a lot. So I will just, just double check. Don't think I can walk any further, if I do I'll probably end up dying like that. Okay, I'll use my precious rewind. Okay, right, well, I won't do that again. I don't think there's anything else over here, so I'm obviously in the wrong section. Have a look. I'll probably have to go back. Oh. oh dear. This is in the days when you don't really have a map, and those things are really annoying. Man. If I have to go past them again the next time, I am going to concentrate. <laughs> it's just twice they've shot me up the button. Uh, jump across this. And I didn't press the jump button. Why did I say jump and then not press it? I'm not 100% sure if I have to come back this way, so that might not even be relevant. Uh -oh. If I do, I'll try and remember that I've got to avoid that thing. Anyway. It's as good as a general rule of thumb anyway, because that thing instantly kills you. Okay, we'll go through here. It's got to be up, what I'm missing. I thought I'd got everything up here, but... And there must be see it's it's a nuisance the jungle level is quite difficult because you've got to explore everywhere um, and sometimes most of the time the objects are quite clear especially with these graphics they're a lot clearer than the original but um, obviously there are areas where things are not so clear hang on a second looking at the top of the screen now that where that dead body is I might be able to go up there So I was thinking I might be able to cling onto that ledge as well, but that's not happening, so we move on. That's the thing, you have to check every single area in this game for um, potential bits and pieces. I know there's an injured man that you find at one point, um, and I think he gives you some an item that you need. Um, I can't remember what he asks for. I think he asks you to bring him something, and then he'll give you something in return. Might be the teleporter actually, that could be it. Yeah, it might be the teleporter. And then I think maybe he teleports and disappears and then where he was, the object that you need is sitting. And that could well be the card. Card key, I don't know. We'll find out. I'm hoping I can get up here because this is the only place I can think of where we potentially haven't been. Yes, oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just to... Uh, kind of puzzle I guess I need to yeah, avoid that sensor so we can climb up probably trigger the next one to bring the lift down and here we go and then we run off to the lift and what we've done is we've triggered the sensor oops <laughs> like I said still not an expert you know 
if you're looking for a, an expert playthrough, this is probably not the one for you. I'm hoping you're just enjoying the fact that they keep messing up. Because the good thing is, you watch someone messing up a playthrough, at least when you get to play it yourself, you'll look like a pro. Okay. Uh, what we got here? Ah, there he is. That's the injured man. Okay, this is the bit I remember. Okay, so... I can't remember what it is in easy. If it's the teleporter, we're in luck, because we've got it already. I'm attacked by mutants, and I can't walk. Find my teleporter. I need urgent assistance. Brilliant. So we'll give him the teleporter. And hopefully he's going to give us the card key. Yeah, press the wrong button. I need to use it on him, I think. There we go. What did you give me? Uh, ID card. Yes. That's for the card lock. Alright, so... I could have been through this like 20 minutes ago if I'd have checked the top section, but we got there in the end. See, people following a guide, they'll probably nail that instantly, but I don't like using guides if I if I can at all help it. I mean, you know, I'm a retro gamer at the end of the day. I mean, I, I play all the modern games too, and sometimes on those you do need a guide to be fair on some of them, but when we used to play games in the 90s and obviously the 80s, you, you know, you couldn't look up guides. You, sometimes you got one in a magazine or something, but you know, mostly you just had to use your your instinct. And it takes a lot out of gameplay if you play it with a guide. I think anyway. That's just me. If you get stuck and you can't go any further, then yeah, by all means. Okay. Right. Or if you like using guides, by all means, do it. You know, that's the beauty about gaming. You play it your way. Personally speaking, I just don't like guides because you know I just prefer to figure things out for myself. It's fun, the trial and error. But well, sometimes I must admit, if I'm playing a game like Bloodborne or Resident Evil, I will look up how to kill the bosses because, you know, after about 25 times of seeing you died on the screen, yeah, it's um, it's not fun. Bloodborne, I've never used a guide more in my life. I don't think it was one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. But fun, really good fun. If you've never played it, check it out. It's brilliant. Okay. Um, hopefully this ID card will get us through here. Uh, I don't like the way that guard's looking there because that looks like looks like could be another rewind coming up. <laughs> no, I've got plenty of health. I should be fine. Just need to remember to duck when I hit the floor. That's it. Oh, he still got me. That's a good thing when you get hit though. You get a little bit of time when you're invincible to uh, get shot off. We'll check over here, make sure he hasn't dropped anything. Okay. Let's have a look down here. We're in a new section. Ah, uh, this looks tricky. Yeah, it looks like four things that can kill me over here. Two guys and two, there's, I think that's a bomb on the far side. Let's see if we can get them to shoot each other. I can probably take one out. I just can't, you can't get one to shoot. If I could get the back guy to shoot first and he would shoot the front guy, I'd be fine, but. Oh, he did shoot his mate. Oh, that worked pretty well, actually. I don't know what that thing is flashing above my head, though. It's not filling me with confidence, to be honest with you. Could be a bomb. I don't know, we'll roll through. Whatever it was, it looked like that worked pretty well. Again, I, I don't think we have to come back this way though, so we should be okay. Let's see what's going on up here then. Uh, I'll play it safe. <laughs> you never know what's lurking on here. Oh, sorry old dude. Oh, so could you I <laughs> could you I didn't shoot him? I was going to say, jump into this hole. I'm not believing you. NTG belt. Oh no, I've got to find something else. Oh, 500 credits. That's what we needed the money for then, <laughs> okay. So again, I was wrong. So we did need credits for this level. Okay, well, here you go, mate. Don't keep the change, if you don't mind. Press the wrong button. Yeah, thank you. Where's my belt? Thank you very much. Bon voyage indeed. Right, um, do I have to equip it? i better go and have a look, just to make sure. Uh, we'll select it. Do I just take the plunge? I can rewind, so let's go for it. Uh, 
yes, there it's working. Woo, so we're through. And this could be a new territory now. I'm hoping no more green. Uh, yeah, that's, well, I guess it's kind of green, but you know, that's quite horrible actually. Looks quite industrial. I was thinking about ending the episode here because it's the start of a new area. Uh, oh, no, I've got to lose all my progress. Okay. I was thinking it may have saved, but I don't want to take that chance because if I do, I'm going to have to scrap the entire episode. So we'll wait till we get to one of those little save terminal thingies, which I'm assuming won't be too far in. Let's have a jump here. I missed it. Um, yeah, I'm assuming it won't be too far into the episode till we find another one of those because it's like a significant moment kind of is that going to kill me we'll give it a go no it's fine uh, energy station yeah it's not going to be usable and then i don't think there's anything down here then i'm guessing we've got to make that jump it looks like it's the only thing we can do here okay i'll go back up give it a try again very much winging it <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've got vague memories of this area again from 25 years ago, but what I've got to do, I don't know. Well, it, it tells me there now I've got to run and jump to this ledge by the looks of things. And it really helps if you press the jump button usually. So we'll try that again, pressing the jump button. And there we go. Okay. I thought I timed that pretty well. Maybe I didn't, maybe it was too early. Um, didn't mean to do that. But we'll check while we're down here just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, no, nothing there. Okay. It's definitely the jump then. So I, I obviously didn't time it right. It's quite tricky because it looks like the ledge ends where the black ends. But I think it ends obviously where the white bit is or the pink. So we'll we'll try again. There we go. Oh. Okay. I think we can go up again. Didn't see any nasties up here so climb up and draw a weapon now that makes me automatically suspicious wrong jump um i assume there's going to be a bad dude up here i've done the wrong jump again see i'm trying to draw the weapon as i'm jumping but it's not happening so i just and i've drawn the weapon without jumping we'll just jump we'll just go up and we'll take a chance let's just do the jump okay oh well, roll oh roll with weapon <laughs> now it tells me to use that I should know that's what i always do Okay, just give myself a bit of room and roll. Roll, roll too. These people fly as well. Um, do they come on? Oh, they come onto the screen. Oh no, they followed me. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you can smack people. Okay. Uh, these take a lot of bullets. What is going on? Can I actually kill these people? Uh, I guess they must be done. Yep. Yeah. Who's that relaxed looking dude? One of that's Ian. Ian, hello. It is Ian. Yes. Okay. They were cops. Oh, okay. Uh, look, this is looking even more like Total Recall now. Uh, memories in Comrade's brain. The end of year thesis. Okay. Yeah, we get it. The end of your thesis. Classes which measure molecular density. Individuals whose molecular density is a thousand times the norm. Aliens mixed in with the population. Mm -hmm. My investigations attracted their attention. I am no longer safe. Oh, there's the holocube. And recording the hologram. Saved contents of my memory and send it to Ian. Oh, so I'm going to know what's going on now then. Saving the contents of your memory. That would be a good thing to do in this day and age, wouldn't it? I know the way my brain works, I could do with it. Okay, looks like some kind of sniper situation. Okay, I got shot. Oh, that's how I ended up, yeah, kidnapped, yeah, that's right. No, you haven't. See, that's why you go around saving memories in 2142 or whatever year it was. Okay, now I'm up to speed. 
Thank you, Ian. What do I have to do to get to work? Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Death Tower. When he gets a ticket. The bar and ask for Jack. Okay. And oh, say so Ian sent me. Okay. Oh, Falsefield. Finally. That's good then. Thank you, Ian. Yeah, the force field is really handy, especially against the harder enemies. You have to have it selected in your inventory and then you press a different button. And it fuses blown. Oh, I must have to pick one up from somewhere, maybe down here. And, oh, okay. He's guarding the fuse, thank you. Okay, I think I can make this drop. Yeah. Oh, I, no, it wasn't me. I didn't use the fuse, thank you. I didn't use a force field there, but that little green line you saw flash up on the screen, that is a force field. So I'm guessing that he must have used one. I suppose. I didn't have mine. I think you've got to have it selected in the inventory to use it. I might be wrong though. Maybe you just have to press a button, but I'm pretty sure you have to do that. No, I didn't make that jump. I should just do it the normal way. <laughs> you should just go up normally. I tried to be a bit fancy and I know I've got to go across, so... I'll just do it. Yeah, okay. Now well, maybe I do have to make this jump. I don't think I can get across the other way. Okay, we'll just. Yeah, I got to be a bit more um, brave with those jumps because you've got to get right to the end of the, the the ledge. That's the word I'm trying to find. Okay. Fuse replaced. Press the button, and down comes the lift. Okay, we're good to go. The search for Jack continues. I need to said Ian then, but we've already found Ian. Now we've got to look for Jack now. Mm, press that, I think. Okay. Um, I'll go this way first. I don't think that's Jack. Jack's going to be standing around. And that is man. Okay, welcome to you, Washington, young man. Thank you. Uh, here's a map of the city. Oh, thank you very much. That will probably come in handy. Uh, switch. Oh, call the left. There we go. Now, uh, I'd better go and check this way first. I don't want to go running off and... Man. Okay. It seems like everyone's called Man in this place. I'm guessing when we find Jack, it will actually say Jack. Because otherwise, I've just got to check everyone where it says Man, which is going to take a long time. Okay. Excuse me there. Let's... I'm going to look, see, I think we've got to go down our, if I remember correctly, it's metro train or something like that you got to get to travel around this place. There's four zones. Funny enough, it's like it takes you minutes to get to these zones. Like you've got Asia, America, Europe and Africa, and it takes you like seconds to get to these places. So I'm guessing realism, you know, if you're after a realistic game, probably not. It's, oh, this was, this is frustrating. You have to stand by that map on the wall to get into the thing. If you stand in the wrong place, you can't, you don't get on there and the train will pull away and you'll still be standing on the station. <laughs> that used to happen to me all the time, I remember. You have to be precise. Okay, we'll have a look in America. Jack sounds like an American or a European name, so hopefully he's going to be lurking around here. Um, switch, oh yeah, there's the lift. I'm not quite sure what Jack is supposed to look like, if he's any different to all the other people we've been seeing. Um, hopefully, because it'll be easier enough to spot him then. Okay, nothing here. Oh, there's another lift. Well, that wasn't abundantly clear, but <laughs> that's probably why the lift came down by itself, otherwise you'd probably be standing there forever. Uh, bar, that looks like a bar. That look kind of looks like the sort of place where uh, Someone named Jack might be hanging out. Jack's waiting outside for you. Okay. This looks like it's outside, but there's nobody there. Okay. Must be the other way then. <laughs> Let's inject a bit of pace into this situation. <laughs> Is he Jack? No. Okay, well, it must be further up then. Oh, well, he's got to be Jack. Look at him. 
forger. Okay, yeah, I'm Jack. Here we go. 1500 credits. Oh, I told you I had to make some money on this level. I think we've got 150, so. <laughs> Just seeing if he had any more tips on how we get the money, but he's not going to be forthcoming in that one. I can actually remember how you get the money, funnily enough, but um, there is well, when we're going there now, I can tell you in advance, or we can just go there, but one of these zones has got a job agency, and you have to sign up for this job agency, and you get like a work permit thing, and then you have to go and do these jobs. They vary. One of them I remember is extremely difficult and extremely annoying. I'm not exactly looking forward to that one, because... <laughs> I'm probably not going to look very good when I play that level because um, it's uh, it's a timed one and I, I'm not very good. I don't like games, so I'm just messing around here now. Don't like games with timed levels. I'm not very good on them. So anyway, we'll get back to the game. You'll see later on when I play that level that I'm not very good at timed games. Uh, right, we'll have a look around here. This is Africa apparently. It looks very very similar to um, America and Asia so far. <laughs> Now I just have to talk to these people. Man again. No, I don't have time. Oh, that's nice customer service. Work permit. There we go. A, B, and C. I'm sure, that's not their names. Window A. Or maybe it is. Window C. Window C. Window. Was that B? I better be B. <laughs> I look like Window E. I'm messing with my head. Oh, it's B. Yeah. Boss will see you now. Okay. Hello, boss. Don't tell me it's going to cost me money. No problem getting a permit. I need to see your ID card. I've got one of those. That's the result. Ah, oh, wrong button. There we go. Now I've got the work. Permit. I need to find the job agency, which I'm guessing we the only one we haven't been to so far is Europe. So I'm guessing it's going to be in Europe, or you is it Europa in this one? I can't remember. Once we get there, as far as I can remember, there is a save um, terminal there. Titan Travel. Good morning. Another man. And this one is man as well. Have you bought me the parcel? Okay. Oh, maybe that's one of the jobs we got to do at some point. I have to remember where Titan Travel is now. I bet you anyway, by the time I get that mission, I'm going to have forgotten. But this is still Africa, yeah. It's Africa, so try and... I say try and remember as if you're going to remind me. <laughs> maybe I just talk to my brain. There we go, Europa. Hopefully the job agency's here. If it is in the save terminals here then I'll be ending the episode here so um, we'll see let's have a look see now um, there's the death tower show I guess I've got to go there eventually Another man again good morning work agency here it is this is it so I think you register here Maybe I'll go straight through because I think there is a save. Yep, there is the save terminal. And the mission screen's up there. So what I'll do is I'll save it here and we'll end the episode. Um, and next time you'll see me doing all the jobs and trying to earn enough money to uh, get to the game show. Okay, well that's the end of the episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope I didn't bore you too much. And uh, I hope I didn't play the game just like terribly this time around. I mean, if you ever play this game, it's not the easiest game in the world. So, you know, hopefully I'm doing a good job anyway. But at least if I'm entertaining you, then that's something. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, really appreciate it. And I hope you're going to tune in next week. And uh, we'll have another episode up later in the week. So take care and I'll speak to you guys soon. And have a great week. Bye for now.